Hey guys, this is Bronze. And this is Platinum. And we are coming to you here to show you guys a video of us taking down a gym in Lorraine Park, Evansville, Indiana. We wanted to show this one because every time we've been by there, the Team Valor members defend it really viciously. We actually took it uh, maybe first, second day into our Pokemon journey. We pretty much took it, turned around, they immediately had it retaken. So we wanted to come back and show off this really great gym. Yeah, you look at the other gyms throughout Evans, but most gyms are like level 3, 4, 5 at, at most. Lauren Park was level 8 when we were looking at it. Consistently, very yeah. high level, well defended, good Pokemon. Like, even before this was recorded, we went out the day before trying to take it out. And it was so well defended that the weather kicked us out because we couldn't <laughs> be there that long. Like it was just, it was just that intense. And it was just a great battle, great trainers and great Pokemon. This is all taken from the perspective of my phone since Bronze doesn't have the software on his yet. Also, uh, a lot of my Pokemon seem like they have odd names. They're all taken from Scandinavian legends. Which makes them really hard to pronounce. They're really not that hard to pronounce. Nah, we'll let everybody else take a look. <laughs> okay, it looks like uh, you can see my team popped up there and it looks like the fight is about to begin. The very first one that comes up is Jbuck 1130's Flareon versus uh, Platt's Vaporeon. And my Vaporeon in the back. Uh, it's, it's a tough it's a tough fight for this <laughs> Flareon. Uh, it, Props to props to him because Flareon is my favorite Pokemon of the of the EV evolutions. But against two Vaporeons, it's not gonna go well. And a quick retreat for me. And it's Dums 87's Executor. Now this is my Pidgeot. It's the only one on my team that I haven't named yet. And if anyone wants to throw out uh, an idea, feel free to just put it in the comments below. It's just so beefy. It, it it's tough. Uh, just Executor is just an all around strong Pokemon. I mean, even the next one was Star's Weep 4. He throws another Executor. It doesn't care about type advantage. It's like your flying Pokemon. I don't care. I'm just going to headbutt you, confuse you, whatever. We do fight a lot of Executors in this fight. And a lot of Executors do pop up in gyms around here just because it's so strong. Oh, yeah. uh, this is Kane. Uh, IV86 is Slowbro. Uh, I love Slowbro. It's, it's it's a great Pokemon. It's got a great look. Oh, and this fight goes so bad for me. I am dodging at all the wrong times, and I take so many psychic straight to the face. Oh, yeah, with, up, just covered right over my Vaporeon. <laughs> Doesn't even care. Dodges right into me. With me using Bite, this should be no problem for me to go through. But there's another one. I just no. keep taking these psychics straight to the face. No, look, you're going to win. No, no, it's <laughs> you're doing good. No, you're doing real good. See, and then oh. down I go. Down I go. That was just poor dodging on my part right so there. So sad. Oh. And my Vaporeon pulled it off. Yeah. Ooh. This is the Venusaur coming from Sinister 03. Uh, it's so it's probably like one of the beefier of the three. I, I don't even think we've actually faced a Blastoise yet. So facing a, a Venusaur in this battle was really, really, really cool for us. And this is one of my favorite Pokemon on my team, my Aerodactyl Vinderfulfnir. Vinderfulfnir. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. And unfortunately, it does make it through. It, do, it doesn't get real far in this fight, if I recall. Yep. But I think I do get a hyper beam off at some point. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, against Cassie K88's Executor. I'm sorry, that's my cat in the background. Trying to get her two cents in. You know what? Apparently, you didn't use the right Pokemon. Just, I don't care. I'm Executor. Type advantage. Screw you. <laughs> well, now here, here's my flare on getting a little more, a little more screenplay in. But I think he goes out right at the beginning of this fight, if I remember right. I think he goes down to maybe Earthquake or a Lick. My favorite Pokemon, hands down, Chronic Joker's Snorlax. <laughs> oh, it's a, it is a mountain of a Pokemon. I love Snorlax in this game. Great defensive Pokemon. Great for defending gyms. I just have not caught a good, uh, good one. Yeah, and it, I'm really looking. Yeah, it took us 40 minutes to take this gym down. Pretty much due to this Pokemon right here, just not caring from any of our hits. And right there is my beefiest Pokemon on my team. Uh, it, it's my Lapras. It's absolutely nuts. It's such a great beefy Pokemon. <laughs> Yorgamander. <laughs> Which I'm probably I'm probably butchering a lot of these names. I am not a Scandinavian speaker. No. Uh, Cochrane's uh, Vaporeon at the very top makes absolute sense. Vaporeon is a beast right now uh, in the meta for the game. And if you look in the background, you also see Bronze's Flareon for some unknown reason. Type advantage? Who needs type advantage? I'd want to make it an even bigger challenge, right? And there's your. You, you can see the bites coming from his Gyarados now. It looks like the Flareon went down. Hey, it didn't go down. <laughs> He's taking a long rest that the Vaporeon made him take. 
Okay, the rest of these are just cliffs from the other fights. We, we're not going to make you guys watch every fight we go through to take these down. Kay. Oh, there's my Lapras again. Just these executors, man. Just don't care about type advantage. Doesn't matter who you are, they'll fight you. It's. Uh... Here's some nice dodging for my Flareon. It's going to lead right into a flamethrower. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Pop this one in uh, just for some really, really good dodging. Just round top of my Jolteon right there. Doesn't even care. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, right out of the way of that Hydro Pump. Very impressive. Uh, this, this, these guys had, had just a really great Pokemon team just to make this so hard. It was such a, it was, it was a diverse, very, very strong Pokemon. These guys knew what they were doing when they were putting these Pokemon here. And it was uh, a pretty serious fight to yeah. get through it. Each, each time I ended, I ended with maybe one Pokemon left. Sometimes it, it was looking like it was going to be any. And we're going to take this, lift our mighty throne <laughs> to our Pokemon, and we drop in a magic carp. <laughs> Go, Doug! Well, that's about it for this bout. Thanks for listening, guys. I hope you liked it. Yep. Uh, just stay tuned for our other videos. We hope you like it. If you like, uh, like, share, and subscribe to the video. And uh, come back and see us again sometime.